Hi, I'm Tina and this is my lunch break. Today, I'm bringing you this amazing dish, Thai chicken taco with peanut sauce, and we call it Taiko. It has a well-balance of sweetness, sourness, spiciness, and saltiness. All of the flavor that you need for taco is there. What are you waiting for? Let's make the taiko! This is taco. Action! First thing I'm gonna do is just cut the chicken into an inch strip. I clean the chicken with salt, like rinse in the water and add some salt and tie up like massage them a little bit. So that um, all the stinky smell can be removed. If your chicken is too thick, you can slide horizontally and then cut, 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 cut. Something like this. Yeah, I am gonna cut them all. If you don't want to use chicken, you can use tofu or you can use the plant-based meat. I normally cook Thai food at home because I love Thai food. <laughs> you know Pad Ka Pao? Pad Ka Pao or Tom Yam or Som Dam like papaya salad. Yeah, I love spicy. I cook a lot of spicy food. Spicy, sour, a little sweet. So we are going to season the chicken with coconut milk, of course. We use a lot of coconut milk. Sugar, of course. It's the brown sugar because it's healthier. Oh, but if you have coconut sugar at home, use coconut sugar. It's even better. Turmeric, of course. Turmeric will give this chicken very aromatic and herbal smell, feeling, something like that, you know? Okay, great. This is sound like a Thai in here, right? But I want it to have like a Mexican feeling in it. So I'm just gonna add taco seasoning. I like to put taco seasoning because the garlic powder, onion powder, and all the spices in the taco seasoning will help this chicken to taste even better. And now we are going to toss everything. Actually, if you don't mind, you can use hand to mix. I feel like it's amazing thing. But I don't want my hand to get yellow color from the turmeric, so I'm just gonna use tong this time. Okay, our chicken is ready. Just need to leave it marinate for about 15 minutes or even better overnight. How did you come up with this recipe idea? got an inspiration from what I really like, which is street food. I really want to make some kind of like street food, but in the fusion way. And I found that Thai food and Mexican food are kind of like have something in common. It's like um, the, the flavor, we have something similar like spicy, um, savory, and a little sour, something like that. So I think they should go very well together. That's why I want to make something fusion, but not confusion, okay? While the chicken is marinating, we are going to make a cucumber radish. So here we have a warm water, just add the sugar in. Actually, you can put everything over the stove top, it's the same. <laughs> but I found this way is easier and faster, so that you don't need to wait for them to cool down that long. It's just me being lazy. Okay. Um, our sugar has dissolved into the warm water. And now we are going to add vinegar. <laughs> and then stir a little bit. It's good, we're gonna leave this in the fridge to cool down. And now we are going to crush the peanuts. But first, I need to bring mortar and pesto. I love this so much. But in Thailand we have like Big one, very big one. And let's do this. So just add them in, just crush them. We don't need to make it very fine. You can leave some big chunk because it's even better in the salt when you have like that crunchy texture in it. You can like chill like nom 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 nom. That's fun peanut substitution. It's a very fun 
to find something to substitute peanut because it's very unique flavor. However, I have seen someone use sunflower seeds. I have no idea how it's gonna turn out. But if you do or you are going to try it with sunflower seeds, please let me know. Use roasted peanut because it's it's it just tastes better. Uh, I think you can skip the toasting, but I don't know how it's gonna taste because we like to toast them. Um, I toast the peanut on the pan, turn on the heat, put the peanut on the pan, and just like... And when it have a little like burn mark, you just take it out. Alright, we are going to make the sauce. We need only four ingredients to make a peanut sauce. First, I'm gonna add the coconut milk. Coconut milk again, yes. Brown sugar. You can use coconut sugar too. Crusted peanut. Ooh. Thai red chili flakes. No, no! <laughs> Last one is Thai red chili paste. Thai red curry paste. Yummy. I'm gonna turn on the stove. Okay, so you just gonna cook them. Um, actually, you just use about like medium heat to cook this sauce and just leave it for about 5 to 10 minutes until it's slightly thick. In Thailand, for peanut sauce, we add tamarind paste or like tamarind juice. The, the juice, the liquid from tamarind basically, so that it's a little sour. But for this taco, I think we don't really need it. Why? It's just because we're gonna squeeze lamb on top in the end. If I can pick one spice to identify myself, I will pick chili. I think chili counts as a spice, right? Uh, you have to know how to use chili. If you put it in a good amount, it will make your food delicious. But if you put it too much, it can burn and hurt you, just like me. We have the peanut sauce on the side and then we are going to make the relish which is we have the liquid that we make it earlier just okay wait i'm gonna add the vegetable first so it's not splash around okay we have cucumber that we slice earlier red onion you can use shallot and chili oh like me chili pour the liquid in Actually, this taco has three components. We have the protein, the marinade chickens that give you like a sade flavor. And then we have the peanut sauce that give you a nutty flavor. And last, we have this cucumber relish. It's just to replace the pico jalapeno. So why I pick these three components together? Because I think taco needs these three kind of like components. Flavor. I want to make it more Thai, so I choose to make it like a satay. Okay, we are going to cook the chicken on the pan, but first, we add the oil. <laughs> I don't use a lot of oil because the oil from coconut will release when we cook it. Apple, Evie, and... Seaweed. Oh, damn! <laughs> Seaweed and sour cream. Oh, apple soup. Like seaweed soup, add apple. Like a Korean seaweed soup, but you add apple in and then you add sour cream. So I think it's gonna be like a pozole kind of thing. Seaweed soup with apple and then you serve with sour cream. Oh, and one thing that Mexican has, Mexican and Thai have in common is that Roja. We also have it in Thailand. Trend food I ever try. When I was in university, I went to the north part of Thailand, like Chiang Rai, and there are some kind of like ethnic group, like minority group there. They have this dish called Gang Gradang, which means a hard curry, like a jelly, but inside has pork. 
and they put a kind of like herb and spices in. Tastes like a street food. You know, skewer on the street, on the side of the street, every corner in Thailand. <laughs> I miss Thailand. It's time to assemble our taco. First tortilla, I'm using flour tortilla because it go very well with the satay flavor. But you can try to use corn tortilla as well. I just recommend flour tortilla. Don't give me wrong, it go very well with it. I will never, ever in my life use flour tortilla. But if people do it... Sorry, Diego. Flour tortilla. Top the tortilla with everything we have. First, chicken. Oh my God, my mouth is watering. I'm so hungry now. And next, peanut sauce. And then I like to spread them around a little bit on the tortilla. Cucumber relish on top. Now just sprinkle some of the cilantro. Yes, another thing that we have in common between Mexican and Thai, which is cilantro. We all love cilantro. Let's sprinkle it on top, around. Why do you want to make us this dish today? I just want you guys to taste something different and new. I think you guys never tried Thai chicken taco with peanut sauce before. I just come up with this recipe because I want people to feel kind of like something new in their life. And I think um, that will help them to inspire more of their work, their life, something like that. I think that's that's a good good way to put it this way. Now we have our taco here, so you can serve this with extra sauce and the relish on the side, also cilantro. And don't forget to keep a squeeze of lamb before you eat it. Now it's your turn to make this happen. If you like Mexican food, Thai food, boom! Why not bring them together? And adios! Let's go, guys!